Hello, a warm welcome to you. If today is your first time stopping by, thank you and welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be making French toast sticks. My little one like this recipe so much, so I make it twice or more in a week. And I know your loved ones will like it too. All the ingredients and quantity is going to be in the description below, so please check them out. For this recipe, you can use any type of bread. Just the one you have at home will work great. Just be sure to cut your bread into thick slices so they don't fall apart in the custard. I am going to be using Texas toast. It has a thick slice and it holds up very well. This recipe works even better when your bread is a little still. It can easily absorb the custard and give it a good taste. So we are going to be preparing our um, custard or milk mixture. So in here I have a cup of milk and we are going to be cracking two eggs into it. I'll add some cinnamon powder. You can substitute your cinnamon powder with nutmeg and I'll add some vanilla extract and some sugar and give it a stir and be sure everything is well combined. You can use a fork to do this as well. A fork will work perfectly. So I'm just going to stack my bread together two at a time and cut it into three pieces. Now repeat the process until all my bread is cut. So in here I have some butter in the pan that I'll be using to toast the bread. I'm just going to spread it in the in the pan and we'll start toasting our sticks of bread. You want the pan to be very hot so your sticks don't stick onto the pan immediately. So I'm just going to dip the bread stick into the custard or the milk mixture, shake the excess off and put it in the pan. Be sure to make be sure that your bread soak the milk mixture very well. Just like that. And we are going to be toasting on one side for about two to three minutes on medium low heat or until the side is golden brown. I'm going to give it a turn while my, my first side is nicely golden brown so I'm giving it a turn and I'll be cooking the the other side for about two to three minutes as well. So I'm turning it on the edges. You don't have to do this, but I just want my the edges to be fully cooked because I have raw egg. I don't want anyone to eat raw egg. So just be sure to turn it on the edges so that every side is well cooked. So I'm transferring this onto a plate. We are going to repeat the process until all our bread is done. And our toast is ready. You can serve this with some maple syrup. You can substitute maple syrup to honey. But be sure not to give honey to a child that is under one year. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you in the next video. Be safe and take care. Bye.